As a result of the defeat of the Ukrainian offensive on Zelensky personal orders in Nikolaev, Krivoy Rok and other directions, the enemy suffered significant losses. Effective actions of the Russian grouping of troops have destroyed 48 tanks, 46 infantry fighting vehicles, 37 other armored fighting vehicles, 8 pickup trucks with large caliber machine guns, and over 1,200 Ukrainian servicemen. During repel of the enemy, offensive of the Russian troops have defeated units of the 128th Separate Mountain Assault Brigade of Ukrainian armed forces redeployed from western Ukraine. Five soldiers of this brigade laid down their arms and surrendered. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. High-precision ground-based weapons near Alexandrovka and Dnepropetrovsk region have hit a temporary deployment point and an ammunition depot of the 1st Tank Brigade of Ukrainian Armed Forces. More than 200 fighters, including about 40 foreign mercenaries, more than 20 armored vehicles and a large quantity of artillery shells have been destroyed. Concentrated strikes have been carried out near Konstantinovka in Donetsk People's Republic against a temporary mercenary position of foreign legion formation as well as a command post of Kraken nationalist formation. The strikes have resulted in the destruction of over 100 militants and seven units of military equipment. In Krivoy Rok city, in Dnepropetrovsk region, Russian aerospace forces precision weapons have destroyed the production shops of the Intervzriv Prom plant, where explosives and other products for the Ukrainian armed forces were being manufactured. Operational tactical and dummy aviation, missile troops and artillery strikes continue against military facilities in Ukraine. Five command posts have been hit, including those of the 108th and the 65th mechanized brigades near Vodunoye in Donetsk People's Republic and Veselanka in Zaporozhye region. The 35th and 36th brigades of Marines near Nikolaev, a nationalist formation in Kharkov city, and 52 artillery units, 142 areas of manpower and military equipment concentration. Three missile and artillery ammunition depots near Sarny in Rolinsky region, Krivoy Rog in Dnepropetrovsk region, and Vernopolye in Kharkov region have been destroyed. Russian air defense means have shut down two Su-25 airplanes of Ukrainian Air Force near Krasnaya Znamya in Nikolaev region. Five unmanned aerial vehicles have been also shut down near Valerianovka in Donetsk People's Republic, Chubarevka in Zaporozhye region, Kapitulovka, Izum, and Krasnoye in Kharkov region. Three Ukrainian .ku ballistic missiles, as well as 53 shells of multiple rocket launchers, have been intercepted near Kherson, Nova Kakhovka in Kherson region, Antonovsky Bridge, and Kakhovskaya hydroelectric power plant, including 44 of HIMARS, 5 of Alha, and 4 of Uragan. In total, 278 Ukrainian airplanes and 148 helicopters, 1,837 unmanned aerial vehicles, 370 anti-aircraft missile systems, 4,539 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 822 multiple launch rocket systems, 3,357 field artillery and motors, as well as 5,136 units of special military vehicles were destroyed during the operation. Kyiv regime continues provocations to threaten a man-made nuclear disaster at Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. On August 29, Ukrainian troops used four strike drones at the nuclear power plant. All the drones were intercepted by Russian means. One of the drones fell on the roof of the special building number one, which stores US-made nuclear fuel and solid radioactive waste. Damage and casualties were avoided. In addition, over the past 24 hours, Ukrainian artillery fired two shells into the territory of the nuclear power plant, which exploded near special building number one. The shelling came from the artillery positions of the Ukrainian armed forces near Marganets in Dnepropetrovsk region. Russian armed forces artillery return fire has suppressed enemy firepower. Radiation situation at Zaporozhye nuclear power plant remains normal.